Welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 11, Percentage Context. Today our learning goal is, let's learn about more situations that involve percentages. Let's start with our warm-up. Warm what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video and take two to three minutes to answer this question. Welcome back. Which of these expressions represents a 15% tip on a $20 meal? Hmm, a 15% tip on a $20 meal. Well, if we're looking at these, we're gonna to wanna to find ones that are showing just the tip itself. So this one says 15 times 20. There's no decimal in front of it. So really this one, we're just multiplying whole numbers. So there's no way it could be that one. This one, we have to do some multiplication first, and that multiplication would show us the tip, but then we add 20, which would show us the total bill, and we don't want that one yet, but let's keep that in mind. And this one is very similar here, where, where one represents you're multiplying um, by one, so the number stays the same. And this 15 here is representative of 15%. So that would be the whole bill and then some. And this one is just 15 out of 100. And 15 out of 100 is the same as 15%. So this is just solving for the tip itself. So this one is only for the tip. So then the second one wants to know the total bill. Well, 15 by 20, again, that's two whole numbers. So that's not going to work. This one, remember we said this was the tip and the total. So this would show us the total bill. And then again, this combined this part together just to make this, or the whole thing together to make this and multiplied it. So that would also give us the total bill. All right, let's go ahead and turn to page 316 and we're going to look at buying a car. So a car dealership pays a wholesale price of $12,000 to purchase a vehicle. The car dealership wants to make a 32% profit. By how much will they mark up the car of, sorry, by how much will they mark up the price of the vehicle? So if they want a 32% profit, we've got to figure out how much they're going to mark this up. So we're going to want to multiply this by this to figure out the new markup. So we would do 12,000 times this in its decimal form, which would be 0 0.32. And for these zeros, we can just go ahead and fill in three zeros each time for this two. One, two, three, because two times zero is always gonna be zero. Two times two is four, and two times one is two. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time for the threes and put our placeholder and add our, our three zeros. So one, two, three, three times two is six, three times one is three, and now we're gonna add that up, zero, 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 four, eight, three. We cannot forget our decimal places. So at the top, we have one, two, two decimal places. So this here is going to be our markup. The vehicle will be marked up dollars $3,840. $3,840. Now let's look at part B. After the markup, what is the retail price of the vehicle? So we have to take our base price 
and add the markup to it to find the new total price of the vehicle. So we're gonna add 12,000 plus 3,840. Zero plus zero is zero, zero plus four is four, zero plus eight is eight, two plus three is five, and we bring down our one. So the new retail price is 15,840. Number two, during a special sales event, the dealership offers a 10% discount off of the retail price. After the discount, how much will a customer pay for this vehicle? Hmm. So if we're looking at our new retail price and we want 10% off of that, we're gonna have to multiply this number by 10%. So we have 15,840 times 0 0.10 for our 10%. I'm gonna just put a placeholder for the zero and then one times zero is zero, one times four is four, one times eight is eight, one times five is five, one times one is one. We have two decimal spaces. So we're going to be taking this much off of the vehicle's total price. So we would have 15,840 minus 1,584. You can't take four away from zero, so we're gonna have to borrow. 10 minus four is six. Can't take eight away from three, we're gonna have to borrow from our neighbor. This becomes a seven. 13 minus eight is five. Seven minus five is two. Five minus one is four. And then we have our one. So our new retail price is going to be $14,256 with a 10% discount. So with a 10% discount, the car will cost $14,256. All right, let's move over to page 317. And we're gonna look at a gym membership. So for each gym membership sold, the gym keeps $42. So that's for the gym. And the employee who sold it gets $8. What is the, the commission the employee earns as a percentage of the total cost of the gym membership? Well, we've got to figure out what is the total cost. If the gym gets to keep 42 and the employee makes eight, how much is the membership? Well, we're going to have to add those two numbers together. We're going to have to add 42 and eight. So our gym membership is $50. So we could use two different strategies. We could use um, multiplication to figure it out, or we could use a double number line. In this case, I kind of want to use the double number line. So I'm going to set up my double number line. And I'm going to use a ruler to help make my lines match up. All right, so I was able to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 lines. So I have plenty of space to put zero and 100%. 
and make the value of each of these 10%. And then up here at 100%, we know our value is going to be 50. So I'm going to put 50 here and zero here. So now I have to fill in all of these lines in between. And since it's going, there's 10 lines and we went up to 50, 50 divided by 10 is five. I'm going to skip count by fives. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50. And now I've got to kind of estimate where would that eight land here? So it's going to be greater than five, but less than 10. So I would estimate that it's about right here. Hmm. And what does that look like if we had to estimate the percentage of the total uh, that the employee is meeting for? Commission, what would that be? What would you estimate that to be? Well, I would look at it this way. We can break this into five equal parts. And right here, we can break this into, so we can go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we can go 12, 14, 16, 18 and then 20. So I have divided this so that it goes in increments of five. So this would be five, six, seven, eight. So I had to go four lines in or three lines in, 12, 14, 16%. So the employee's commission is 16%. All right, so then if an employee sells a family pass for $135, what is the amount of commission they will get to keep? Well, we know our percentage from up here, they get 16%. So we can just multiply 135 by the 16%. So 135 times our 16%. Six times five is 30, carry the three. Six times three is 18 plus three is 21, carry the two. Six times one is six plus two is eight. Now we're gonna have to put a placeholder. One times five is five. One times three is three and one times one is one. Add that up, zero and zero is zero. Six, 12, one, two, we have two decimal points. The employee's commission would be 2260. All right, that is it for lesson 11. You're going to do the homework on pages 319 and 320. And I'll see you next time for lesson 12.